Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for cheap and fast coins. Use code ZERK for 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the new Powered Up Expansion players in the game and let me tell you guys, you don't even know, I'm not even going to explain it, just know today is probably <laughs> one of the busiest days I've had in forever. You don't even want to know what I had to do in order to make it home in time to record this video literally on perfect timing, so just, just, just know. But I do want to give a shout out to Ajax Gaming for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shouted out in the next video, drop a like in the video. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn that notification bell on and comment down below, Noti Gang. How's you guys' day going today? Let me know down below in the comment section. And of course, make sure you guys hit that sub button if you're not already subbed to the channel. We are closing in now on 160k subscribers. Would greatly appreciate that pretty soon. You know, I want to hit 200k this year. But, as you guys can see, we have the new Power of Expansion players, and I already know I'm going to get asked about it. They did not mention anything about a new potential promo, nothing about position heroes, anything like that. So, at this point, right, we're almost in June. Are we going to get position heroes? I don't think so. I really don't think we're going to anymore, but we'll just have to see. But you guys can see, of course, pretty usual with these new uh, Power Up Expansion players. There are some solo challenges you can do. Go through these, get yourself some Power Up players. So we have Marvin Jones, Philip Lindsay, Anthony Costanzo, Eric Berry, Mike Daniels, and Akeem Talib as the new Power Up Expansion players. And I do also have their stats to go ahead and show you. So I'm going to show you guys their stats. And then, of course, we are also going to get into some packs. So well, first up, let's get into the one that I feel like a lot of you guys are going to care about. Maybe the one most people will care about and probably the one that most people will be picking up for their team. If any of these cards you're going to pick up, this probably going to be the one. Eric Berry, 94 speed, 94 acceleration, 88 tackling, 99 play rec, 92 pursuit, 95 zone, and he's got a 95 fifth power in the 88 man coverage. I saw some people a little bit confused about this over on Twitter. Uh, some people that maybe for some reason don't want Eric Berry, uh, they said, you know, why is Berry getting a card? He hasn't played all year. Well, Barry is a fan favorite. A lot of people love Eric Barry. I love Eric Barry. Dude is a monster. I kind of wish he would have played this year. Would have been on a team, but unfortunately, he was not. Uh, this card, though, overall pretty good. Uh, surprisingly, really good hit power, good zone, 94 speed. Yeah, it's a little bit low, but you know, sprinter John Madden, you're looking at 97. However, we do have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of really, really good safeties in the game. Uh, we do have, you know, Taylor Mays, uh, 95 overall Taylor Mays. We have Golden Ticket Taylor Mays. We have uh, Troy Palamalu. We have Jamal Adams. I mean, there's just a ton of good, strong safeties in the game. Pat Tillman. I don't really know how many people are going to be picking up Barry to actually use him. Chiefs theme teams, I'm sure will really, really appreciate this new Eric Barry card, though. So I'd say... I'm pretty happy with this one. Now, aside from him, like I said, we do have Anthony Costanzo with 92 strength, 99 awareness, but his pass blocking is just not good. His pass block is really bad. Uh, 92 pass block, 93 pass block power, and also he's got a 91 pass block finesse with 98 run block, 99 run block power, and 99 run block, or 95 run block finesse. So overall, really good run blocker, just not very good of a pass blocker. Uh, we also got Mike Daniels, which it seems like he is a very, very, very good block shedding right end at 79 speed, 87 acceleration though, a little bit slow. Uh, 98 strength, 98 block shedding though, as I said, really, really good there, but he's not gonna give you much when it actually comes to pass rush. Only an 89 finesse move with 80 power move. And honestly, I feel like we have so many cheap players in general. Like, the market has just crashed completely. Uh, there are some very, very cheap right ends you can go ahead and pick up right now. I don't really feel like Mike Daniels is going to be the move here. So, Mike Daniels, theme teams, I guess. Marvin Jones coming with 94 speed, 95 jump, and he also has got 94 catching, 95 catch and traffic. He also has got 99 spectacular catch with a 98 deep route running, 94 medium route running, and an 88 short. You'll notice that with a lot of these power up expansion players, I don't feel like they're better than a lot of players we currently have in the game, but they're more so just for theme teams. Uh, he's still... A solid card, you know, not the fast wide receiver, not the tallest. He's 6'2", though, pretty good. Not the greatest route when it comes to short. Overall, you know, it's a, it's a solid card. There's nothing really too wrong with this card at all. And Aqib Tlaib, this is one 
they really just you got to boost his speed a little bit, right? People love Akeem Tlaib. 98 man, 91 zone, 97 press, 99 jumping, 98 play rec, but he has 95 agility, 92 speed, 95 excel. The speed is just way too low uh, unless you're rocking out a theme team. I just don't see how you can use Tlaib. Uh, you can, of course, use Sprinter, John Madden. You're still only looking at 95 speed. And as I said, just about everyone in this game has the capability that most people use anyways to get 99 speed so a wide receiver you're, you're probably gonna get torched you're probably gonna get torched quite a bit if you try to use this keep to leave and one that i think a lot of people are gonna be pretty excited about at least for broncos fans is philip Lindsay. he's five foot eight 96 speed 94 acceleration 94 agility 99 caring so that's good to see on him uh does have 95 elusiveness but he's only got a 78 trucking and an 88 break tackle uh, again unless you're rocking a theme team you're probably not picking up philip Lindsay, or unless he's one of your favorite players in the nfl and it's not nothing to, it's really nothing against his card at all it's just that the market is so bad that prices are so cheap players like barry sanders i know walter payton ul is still decently expensive but walter payton ul just completely blows this card out of the water barry sanders saquon barkley still comparable to him better truck and of course better break tackle everything like that so i don't think a lot of people are going to use the philip Lindsay card but i did see a lot of broncos fans say they wanted to get this card so there you go so those are the new power-up expansion players that we have for today. Now, as I said, I'm going to go ahead and get into some packs. So I'm going to go ahead and open up where they have the elite player packs. Let's get into, I'm trying to think here. We should get new packs. Today is only Tuesday. We should get new packs on Thursday, more than likely, for the uh, new golden ticket. So I'm going to go ahead, open up all 10 of these packs for you guys. Get 87 overall, Jaron McCoy, and a series redux. 93 joe thomas i don't know how much he is but getting a series redux pull nice to see we actually may have made relatively close to our fifty thousand coins back off that pack uh he's getting 81 and 80 and then 86 and also an 85 overall right there jadavion Clowney still currently a free agent but let me know down below what you guys think about the new power up expansion players i have to say Eric Berry, I'm excited for. He's getting a 92. Uh, and we also get a 93 Brian Tannehill right here. So that's a solid pack. But unfortunately, with the way that the market is, probably didn't make our 50,000 coins back. If you're opening up these packs here, you probably have to get a GT pull, right? As you get a series Redux, and we get a 92 Christian Kirk. Why, why can't I just pull like a, a Miles Garrett over here or potentially like a Lamar Jackson, someone like that? That'd be really 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 beautiful to see uh, unfortunately for me my only good like super good series redux pull this entire year was over on the pack and play account which if you guys don't watch the pack and play series check it out you pull miles garrett over there he's on the squad definitely a pretty fun series over there uh but i'd say pretty excited for eric berry i don't know if i'll pick him up he's getting 91 Taysom hill here but i'm happy i'm happy to see that he got a card 83 overall right there i am not even going to attempt that name because you guys already know that one would have been a fat, fat L. Final four elite player packs, though. We get a flashback, 86, Emmanuel Sanders, 88 overall, Joey Porter, and a Leighton Van Der Esch power-up. Now, also, if you guys don't already know, on June 1st, we are going to be seeing, as we get another, wow, we get so many Redux pulls today, 93 overall, Devondre Campbell, not bad, nothing really crazy. Double series Redux pull, 92, Christian Kirk, again, we just got two Reduxes in the same pack that is uh a little bit crazy there we'll do these two final league player packs but june 1st we are getting our first madden 21 info so we'll see what's gonna be coming out there he's getting 92 keith bullock i would rather the gt which the gt is already super cheap uh, as well as get 80 overall quan alexander again a solid pack and on to the final elite player pack here let's see what we can end it off with maybe we'll get lucky get like a 95 96 overall pull as we get a UL 95 Walter P. I literally called it. I said 95, 96 overall pull, and we get a 95 overall Walter Payton. But as I was saying, June 1st, we will be getting some Madden 21 information, so be on the lookout for that. Aside from that, guys, I don't know if we're going to be getting any more content this week. Aside from Thursday, we will be having the final three golden tickets, which are Anthony Barr, Brian Dawkins, and Quincy Anunua, I believe, are the final three developer golden tickets. Friday, we get the free GT, and also get fan appreciation packs refreshed. A lot of people have been asking me recently if they should sell off their golden ticket players, whatever. 
I'd say yes. I would say you'd sell your GT players if you have any, because the market is gonna crash. Maybe not as much from the free GT, although I do believe that will definitely cause players to go down in price, but the fan appreciation packs refreshing, People are still going to rip these packs even though the market is completely crashed because of how many GT pulls we actually saw to these these past week. A lot of people are going to do these packs again. A lot of people are going to pull golden tickets again. And the market will continue to drop. Golden ticket players are definitely going to go down in price. So if you want to pick up any GT players, pick them up on Friday. If you want to sell any GT players, I'd sell them today. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, and of course hit that sub button down below. I will be having a second video for you guys today. It may be at around the normal time of between 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern. As I said, extremely, extremely busy day to day, but I'll see what I can do. Try to get that video out for you guys around the normal time. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, and of course hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.